I'm standing in one of the most diverse prairies left in North Alabama. It's only 15 to 20 acres. But guess what? The entire property is being surrounded on three sides by hundreds of acres of development that just got cleared. And guess what popped up? All of the same species that are in this prairie. And what do you think is going to happen to this property? Every square inch is going to be developed. They're going to milk it for as much money as they possibly can. This place isn't going to have a single green area. And the kids in this neighborhood are going to grow up without any green space. And that's pretty short-sighted of us. You see, the story of the land is the story of us. What we do to the landscape is what future generations are going to think of us. And it doesn't have to be take everything and leave nothing. We can develop land in a way that honors the ecosystems that were here before. Through landscaping, through green areas, through stormwater retention ponds. But that's not what's going to happen here. It's going to be concrete, houses, sod grass, and non-native landscaping. Our elected officials in suburbia are standing here with their arms wide open, welcoming these sorts of developments to our community. And it's not sustainable. It's time to change the way we develop the landscape. And I'm not asking that they set aside 50%. I'm asking that they stop taking 100%.